In this lesson, we'll take a look at how you can leverage tools and features to coax a mask that already exists in the image in one form or another. In this beautiful image from the PictureQuest library, we have to replace the sky with another image. Now, at first sight, it might seem hard to isolate all the blue areas spread out in the image, especially amid the wispy tree details. But it always pays to take a quick glance at the individual red, green, and blue components that make up this image. Now this particular channel has a strong silhouette of the tree and practically a complete selection of the sky just waiting to be cleaned up. In fact, this particular channel would be useful even if the brief was to select the tree instead of the sky. All you'd have to do is to invert the data to select the tree. First, I'll duplicate the blue channel before I start to edit it. Again, to end up with the selection of the sky, this part needs to be set to white, while the rest is masked out, so it needs to go to black. I like to use the Levels command to force areas to white and black. First, I'll make sure that the RGB values for the set white eyedropper are set to 255. Then click on a region of the sky to quickly force it to white. To slowly deepen the shadows, I'll move the black input slider in. You can keep the gray tones as they are, or you can darken them by moving the gamma slider or the gray slider slightly. Then all you have to do is to use any combination of selection or painting tools to fill in and clarify this amazingly easy selection mask. I'll go ahead and use the lasso tool with the option or the alt key held down to create a polygonal lasso around this area to select it. And when you get close, you just release the mouse so it completes the selection for you. And then fill with black. At this point, you might want to view the RGB composite channel as an overlay to see if you missed anything. You can always edit this further in this view by painting in black or gray to mask out an area or to paint in white to select an area. I've loaded this channel and I'll switch back to the Layers palette. Now invert the selection by typing Command or Control, Shift and I and float it to a new layer. Now I'll drag this other image with the bountiful clouds over and sandwich it between the two layers. You can deepen the colors by incorporating the range of blue tones from the sky in the image below. This will always create a more realistic composite. To do this, double click the layer thumbnail for the clouds layer. And down towards the middle, I'll remove the shadow areas from this layer while keeping the clouds which fall in the light to highlight range. This removes the shadows to this point. Then to soften the effect and to bring back some of the smooth transitions, hold down the Option or the Alt key to split these sliders. Move this transition back to create smooth edges. And 
you can see how easy it was to composite these images because we were able to coax an excellent selection from one of the component color channels.